हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आवर चैनल एम एल टी लेक्चर्स टूडे इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न अबाउट टोटल आर बी सी काउंट बाय बोथ मैनुअल मेथड एंड ऑटोमेटेड मेथड बिफोर मूविंग टू वर्स द वीडियो प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब द चैनल फर्स्ट लेटेस्ट डिस्कस अबाउट आर RBCs are also termed as erythrocytes. They are numerous in number. They are biconcave in shape and are non-nucleated. They are red due to presence of hemoglobin. The diameter of RBC is 7.2 mu meter, and they are produced inside bone marrow. There are two ways to calculate RBCs. One is visual hemocytometer, that is also termed as manual method, and another is automated method. We will look one by one in detail. For visual hemocytometer, we need hemocytometer or improved newborn chamber, then RBC pipette and cover slip. Fluid required are RBC diluting fluid and blood sample. Blood sample may be capillary blood or EDTA anticoagulated blood. First, we will look for equipments required in detail. Improved newborn chamber. The first equipment we need. It has a metallized surface and has an improved newborn ruling. This is one is the metallized surface. It has two ruled areas. One and two. Each ruled area has a dimension of three mm into three mm. It consists of nine large square each measuring 1 mm into 1 mm. The depth of newborn chamber is 0.1 mm. The center large square is divided into 25 squares and that 25 squares are further divided into 16 small squares where RBC counting is done. Next one is cover slip. The cover slip here is a special type which is thick and optically flat. So volume occupied by diluted blood in each large square is 0.1 ml. This is the one side of the newborn chamber. Here as we said it is divided into nine large square. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Here, the corner large four squares are used for WBC count. And the center one is used for RBC counting. The center square is Further divide into 25 box. The four boxes and the center one is used for RBC counting. This is how the cover slip is placed over the new birth chamber. Next we need is RBC pipette. It has a bulb for dilution and mixing and it is calibrated to deliver 0.02 ml of blood. It has got a pulse and a bead red color. This help in mixing of blood with the diluting fluid. The RBC pipette has a marking at 0.5, 1 and 101. We 
normally used two kinds of fluid. It may be hemes fluid or odysseus fluid. Composition of hemes fluid, sodium chloride, sodium sulfate, mercuric chloride and distilled water. Whereas this is fluid contain trisodium citrate, formalin, distilled water. Now, how to do RBC counting? The blood should be drawn carefully to the 0 0.5 mark on the RBC pipette. If we are using the capillary blood, the site of prick should be clean with spirit and cotton and let it dry. Make a deep prick on the ring finger. Then the diluting fluid should be drawn up to the mark 101. The blood and diluting fluid are mixed by shaking in a horizontal position for 2 to 3 minutes. Then 2 to 4 drops of mixed fluid is discarded. The tip of the pipette is then touched to the side of a hemocytometer chamber and drop of fluid will run under the cover slip by capillary action. Wait for 2 to 3 minutes for settling of RBC. Total number of cells in 5 square in the center are counted under high objective that is 40x. Now moving to calculation. We have n equals to n1 plus n2 plus n3 plus n5. Now calculating dilution. We have volume of bulb is 101 minus 1 equals to 100. Because the steam part of the pipette do not take part in dilution. Then 100 volume of diluted blood contain 0 0.5 ml of volume of blood and 99 volume of diluting fluid resulting in dilution of 0 0.5 is 200 so we get the dilution factor as 200 then volume of 1 rbc square is 1 by 10 mm then volume of 5 rbc square is area into depth we get 1 by 50. Now the main formula is RBC per mm cube of a given sample is number of cells in 5 square that is N then dilution factor into reciprocal of a volume. We have N equal to and into dilution factor we have 200 and reciprocal of volume is 50. The final formula we get is number of RBC counted into 200 into 50. Now automated method. Electronic counter is based on the principle of aperture impedance method. In lab we use Coulter counter. The Coulter counter is based on the principle of aperture impedance method where anticoagulated blood is diluted with the particle free diluting fluid which line on a phosphate buffer saline. Particles then pass through the chamber in a single file scatter the light and convert by the detector into pulses proportional to the size of the cell which are counted electronically. Normal count of 
RBC email is 4.5 to 5.5 million per mm cube. Females we have 3.8 to 5.2 million per mm cube. And at birth it is the highest having 6 to 8 million per mm cube. There are some physiological as well as pathological condition where RBC is increased or decreased. RBC are increased during polycythemia, hypoxia and dehydration and decreased during anemia and pregnancy. Thank you. Hope you like the content. Please like, share and subscribe the channel.